I got these uh, cons from uh, one of my claims there, and I uh, it's from my extension piece, so I brought it home. But um, after classifying it through there, I think that's quarter inch and whatever that one is. I think it's 30 or 50 mesh, 30 mesh, I think. I ended up with this, and I attempted to pan it out, but as it turned out, it was just way too much black sand for me to do. So I figure the only way to do it properly would be to do a couple tablespoons at a time and back pan it. But I don't really want to do that. It's going to take about three hours to do. So I'd rather spend three hours and do it a different way. Now I know there's gold in here. I don't know how much, so this should be interesting. But you can see the black sands there. So um, I think uh, we'll try to dry this out here and use a magnet and go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do now that this is all dried out is I'm going to go over it with the magnet and remove much of the black sands as I can. I will uh, I'll put it into this pan here and then I'll repeat the process a couple times until I'm sure it's just pure black sands. First of all this is really cool. I have this earth magnet that I'm not going to use. I have another magnet but this one's really powerful. Look what happens when I put it underneath. Okay, so I'm going to use this magnet here that you can just pick it up and then release it. You can see it all right there. So I'm going to repeat this process several times. It is possible to pick up gold in the magnet, magnetic uh, ore here. But it's a good way to greatly reduce your pure black sands, which you don't normally want. There could be platinum in it too, so you want to maybe have a check for that too. If there's platinum in the area that you're prospecting. Okay, so we're gonna run these uh, cons here through these multi sluice here. Uh, clean my cleanup mat. This is the one that all the black sands have been pulled out by the magnet, so it should uh, all the light should go down pretty easy, and then hopefully be left with uh, some gold in there. And that will tell me what was in that um, that good sample.
So on first inspection of the mat, it's actually pretty clean looking. There's a little piece of gold there, a little piece there. That's in the fine rib. In the coarse rib, there's some more black sands, the non-magnetic kind. So, uh, doesn't look like a whole lot, but we'll pan it out and see what we got. So after panning out the mat, this is what I got. So there's some. Not a whole lot though, so I think this is the uh, amount you would want to see in an extension piece. Most of the gold was in the high banker in the first set of mats, so that means we had a good setup. Okay, so I decided to do the uh, black sands only that I removed with the magnet and there was a few specks of gold in there. I don't know if you can see that all right here. So they were, um, I was going to process it two or three times but I decided not to, just do the one time. So this just goes to show you that even when using a magnet it can scoop up gold within the with the black sands itself so if you want to be more thorough you can do it two or three passes with the magnet just to reduce it but it's really not that much so it's good to test and see what, what the pro how the process works. <laughs> 